Tomorrow, most of us will get an extra hour of our day back, a little sleep too. Daylight saving time ends at 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people, I'm always like, I can't wait to sleep that extra hour. And people say, oh, you're not really getting an extra hour for me. Let me have my hour. Yes. All right. We'll yeah. sleep in and enjoy it. And yeah. of course, we have to give it back in the spring, but we we'll do. take it tomorrow. That's for sure. Yes. And one other thing to do while you're flipping those clocks ahead is to also change out the batteries in your smoke detectors. It's just good habit to get into. Again, the sun set this evening at 637. So tomorrow morning, the sun will rise at 720 and it will set at 535. That is going to feel very weird. <laughs> so keep that in mind as you go to bed tonight. Make sure you flip those clocks so you're on time tomorrow. 43 degrees is the current temperature in Indianapolis. It's currently 43 in Muncie, 36 degrees in Bloomington. We have that southerly breeze and those winds are light out of the south from about three to five miles per hour, but it's enough to keep us pretty Pretty mild and we're going to stay mild during the overnight only falling into the mid 30s. So we'll likely see some frost out there again. Not as hard a frost that we had this morning, but then it will still be another terrific day. We are forecasting temperatures to rebound into the low 60s tomorrow afternoon with that southwesterly flow and we will have a gust or two around 15 miles per hour. So keep that in mind as well, but we are have been running so b below average earlier in the week, but now we're going to see warm temperatures until about midweek and then much colder air is going to fill in as we go into the second half of the week. We're going to see drastically cooler air pushing in by the middle of the week. So here's a look at your forecast for Monday. Temperatures back into the mid 60s. Tuesday, we're still going to be mild, slightly cooler as a cold front starts to move in. This will bring us a little bit more cloud coverage. Temperatures will still be in those low 60s. As we go into Thursday, though, Veterans Day, we have a cold front. There's still questions on the the timing. This model brings it in during the morning. Other models have it coming in later in the day, so that will also determine the actual temperature as well. But we do expect to see showers moving across the area on Thursday. Then much cooler air will fill in behind the cold front. It's going to be drastically cooler as we get into the second half of the week. So here's a look at your forecast. 61 degrees will be the high for Sunday. We'll get back into the mid 60s on Monday. Absolutely beautiful. A few more clouds around on Tuesday, 62. And then we start to bring in rain chances late day Monday, 60 again on Thursday, but it will be rainy and breezy.